Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know what we do before we get started. Go ahead and do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section. And turn that post notification bell on so you know when your boy is going live or dropping one of these banger ass videos. You know what I'm talking about? And today, the Colorado Buffaloes are outside. We having real live practice. A little bit of hitting. A little bit of smack talking, a little bit of coaching up. And as you see, it's going to be a good day. And what y'all don't know is, man, that Colorado is going to have one of the most elite. And when I say elite, I mean one of the most elite wide receiver rooms in the entire country. And you got to think about what you see in now compared to what you're going to see later because you're missing two dynamic receivers that haven't even left their other schools to come to Colorado. Baby T.O., Cordell Russell, and Will Shepard from Vanderbilt. So, mixing with the likes of this guy here, (laughs) Mr. Jimmy, Lil Jimmy, Lil J5 Feasy. You know what I'm saying? And look at, you got two, three, maybe four dynamic running backs. I'm saying, Jimmy Horn Jr., that man there, LeJonte Wester, is absolutely off the chain. And you know you can't forget 12. Travis is balling on both sides of the ball. So think about that. And they, we haven't even popped in on Mario Cook. So, just that. And then you add Cordell and Will Shepard. And you talking about a bad receiver. Look at this. Look at these running backs, dog. That man has been off for two years. Just about. He's well rested. And that man right there, he showed you what he could do at the USC game. So, just, just when they go five wide, who who you going to stop? Who going to stop who? Somebody's going to always be open. And then the amount of backups that they have. Man, I'm talking about, look, man, this this team is well stacked. I mean, you got that, even Charlie, Charlie just do, Charlie do his thing, man. Y'all got to give Charlie the biggest shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because Offerdahl been doing his thing since Prime been in the building. And Offerdahl needs a scholarship. He needs to be a scholarship player because he has a lot more heart and a lot more want to. It's about the want to. He already has his why. He's going to graduate with that beautiful degree. And he's not majoring in no easy crap. You know, it's some super technical micro micology biology whatever super scientific crap you know so his classwork and his football stuff is major safety room stack what are y'all gonna do big 12 might want to hold up man because this this team is gonna be dynamic in all types of ways if <clears throat> Excuse me. If that offensive line mixed with that defensive line can do their job, this team is, oh my God, the amount of things they are going to be able to do. When you got these type of OCs and DCs that put in this type of work, it is what it is. But anyway, man, I just wanted y'all to understand what Colorado has and what you can look forward to coming up in this upcoming season and they're not done because BJ Green ain't showed up you see what I'm saying look at Dylan you can't stop that man once he's outside it's this this team is gonna be ridiculous whenever they put it all together and they get all the pieces in can't nobody stop that guy right there and then you got LeJonte you put LeJonte on one side Travis on the other side. 
Jimmy in the slot, Will Shepard, Baby T.O., Amario. What what you going to do? Who you going to double up? Who you going to double up? Then you stack the backfield with Alton, freaking Edwards, and Savion, or somebody, or however you want to do it. You got a freshman tank in Micah. So what are you going to do? How are you going to be able to stop all of that? That's why the portal is so dynamic. Because now, yeah, you got a few freshmen sprinkled in here, but your freshmen are dynamic players. They're not, your freshmen are ready to go. They're not people that you have to train up all that much. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what you're thinking about this Colorado team. And we out. We're going to see you when we see you. Y'all be easy. Peace.